All right, so we just got a couple things, a couple different things that I wanna go over before I start this video. Number one, I didn't break my Cricut deck. I decided to give it away because it was on this last leg. I decided to also go back to my flight deck. Definitely way stronger. I know I'm not gonna break it. The second thing I wanted to tell you guys is today Cosmo isn't filming this video. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, then you might remember my uncle Justin. My uncle knows I skate and caught me lacking today. Yo, where you at? Why are you in here? That one day he caught me lacking was kind of funny, so I made a video about it. He's actually filming this YouTube video. The main premise of this video is just to get out of my comfort zone. I just want to try a couple of new things that I don't usually do at the skate park, specifically on the hubba. So I guess we'll just start with some morning manuals. Yes, I just made that up and um, it's going to become a thing now. So. <laughs> All right, let me try the same thing, just with uh, either a shove it or a 180 out. Oh, that's another thing I need to watch out for, is Landon Primo. Yep, this is the one. I called it. Next, let me just try back 180 out. I feel like it would be better to do back 180 because like I'm coming off backside kinda already. One more time. I just need to go a tad bit faster. So glad that Barry is there. I'm fucking up the audio. turned into a whole line. I'm just going to like ollie over it for real. It's a little early to be ollieing over stuff. Whatever. I'm going to warm up on the ledge, this ledge right here, so that I can eventually get to some tricks that I'm not usually used to doing on hubbas on that hubba. All right, first big ollie. How did I mess that up? We can keep it rolling. Try back 5 -0. Either back 5 -0 or back 50-50 shove. I'll do both. Uh. Can I get a half off? Yeah. Thanks for waiting, bud. That was, that was like so bad. Uh, that was a little better. Nolly Inward Hill. Who does those at 8.30 in the morning? Got my heart rate up, feeling a little better. Sun is finally coming out. I think we are just about ready for the hubba. I've dealt with bigger hubbas before. Well, actually, let me take that back. I've done with steeper hubbas before. I feel like this one is definitely a lot more mellow. Yeah, I've done back 50 on it already. I haven't tried back crook or no slide on it. I've done it on the bump to ledge, but not on the downward hubba. So I guess we'll start with those. Actually, let me warm up to the hubba just with a couple 50 50s. First, I'll do front and then I'll do back. This should be first try. Now back 50. By the way, this trick is relatively new to me on this hubba. I just started doing these probably a week ago on this hubba and I'm getting pretty comfortable with them, but I feel like I'm locking in with my front truck first and then my back truck, I'm still getting used to it. So the more I do it, the more I'll get better at it. But yeah, let's run those a couple times and then we'll get to, I guess no slide would make sense first and then I'll try back crook. <sighs> that was definitely supposed to be first try. Uh, 
time for the no slide or actually i keep switching it up i kind of want to do the no slide crook on the bump to ledge first get warmed up on that and then do it on the hubba so let me do a couple on the bump to ledge and then take it to the hubba usually i don't like to wax things before i skate it but i already know how this grinds First try again, it makes me feel confident about taking it to the hubba part. I just really want to do it a couple more times just so I know like I actually got it. Those are feeling really good. So now I feel a little bit more confident. <laughs> confident confident about taking it to the hubba part i've done crook and no slide on the hubba before but never one where it's like super long where you have to hold it super long never this one and i haven't done it in a while either so so this is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone just a little but yeah let's run it oh yeah i got that for sure it's coming it's definitely coming so it'll be in, in the next couple tries for sure I'm just not a no slide guy Took me a couple tries, but we got it. Let me just run it back a couple more times just to feel it out and actually get familiar with the trick. And then I will try crook, which is slightly harder for most people, but I honestly think it's gonna be easier, so. All right, just one more time. My bad, filmer. I know you were like risking your life for that one. That's why I didn't want is for me to slip out and like accidentally. Cause you don't even have socks on like, or, or do you have ankle socks? Okay. You kind of have to just like land on it. All right, I think I got that one down. I think I'm ready for crook. Hopefully this takes, actually, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. They even feel a lot better. Like, fuck no slides. I definitely got it within the next couple tries. Ah, I'm just glad we got to do that before the ops came. And like the sun is actually out now. So I feel like it was like perfect time to get that trick. But they did say they were about to power wash the skate park. I don't know why. If we keep skating and they don't say anything, then I'm just gonna chill over here for the rest of the video. All right, next up, I think we have back 50-50, back 180 out. This would definitely be a new one for me. Like I've never done it on any hubba before. I think I got that. It might be a little quick. really got to lock in perfectly for this one because if I try to back 180 out of it and I'm not locked in the right way it's not gonna go my way let me take my wax out of my pocket for this one feels like I have my phone in my pocket that kind of helps I definitely got it it's all mental oh. All right, I just need to commit. Hopefully, because I have this mic on, like it doesn't catch a lot of that audio. I was going way too slow. That was just a safety fall. Whenever you're doing a back 180 and you land like this, or sometimes you land like this and your foot slips down like that, bro the worst i'll be good though it's not like too bad the dude like i'm i'm actually really you don't usually see that trick a lot especially not on hubba so for me to do that i feel like i was actually kind of lit run it back one more time and then we'll try something new a 
little harder for me mentally, which would be back 5-0. Bro, like, I don't, I don't even know if I want to try this, but I, I think I can do this. I usually do it on the flat ledge right there. I lock in perfectly, like, all the time, so I guess we'll pop a couple just to see how I'm feeling on it and if I can actually, like, commit to one. Let me roll up to it a couple times. I feel like for this one, I might have to just, like, send it and just go fast off the rip. You know what, I'm just gonna go for this one right here. And if I'm not feeling it, I'm just gonna move on to the next trick. That's how I'm feeling right now. Cause this one is kind of a scary one, especially on the hubba, like. Right. I'm warming up to it. Let me pop one more back 50 and then try to really go for it. I don't know, it's hard like mentally to lock into it. As I do these, I'm trying to like put less pressure on my front foot so I can actually just go full send with my back foot. going down for sure. Fuck yeah. Sometimes you have to like just commit. I've, I actually got that like dude I've never tried that on the pub before. Let me run it back one more time. That's the trick that I feel like is like really cool, especially down a hubba. It takes a lot of commitment. I feel like even just like a back 50, like that's something you kind of have to work towards. Now let's try some front side tricks. I really just want to try uh, front 5-0 and front tail. I've done front 5-0 on this before. It, it kind of turned out like, like a suski, kind of like this. And I never really knew how to like lock in correctly. I'm gonna try front 5 0 again. I guess I'll go front 5 0, front smith, and then front tail. I've done front smith on this side of the hubba, but not this side. So yeah, let's do front 5 0 and then we'll get to the other tricks. We'll just do 1 50 50 and then I'll go to the front 5 0. Honestly, this should be first try. A little sketchy, but I'll take it. Definitely gotta try it again though. I feel like they're always a lot cooler when you don't drag the tail. So that's what I'm gonna try to do on this next try. Like before it was like dragging like this, but I'll kinda wanna balance it cause I feel like it is a lot harder and they look cooler. Ah. The first half of the grind, I always balance it, but then it starts to drag near the end. I just gotta hold it. I think I'm leaning too far onto it. Let's just give it one more time. You know, I'm gonna keep those for right now. I'm glad I'm actually like keeping the board parallel to the ledge instead of it turning like a suski. I did see a lot of improvement there. I just need to learn how to not drive the tail and actually balance the 5-0. I guess it's time for Smith and this should also be first try even though I've never done it on this hubba before. I do have them pretty consistently. So, all right, so now it's time for front Smith. I need to lean back for that one. I'm a little too used to the front 5-0. I'm leaning too far forward. I might just put a little wax on it. I just need to commit to the landing. Seeing the cameraman step back every time I try. <laughs> Warm back one more time. First one was definitely better. I could feel the front truck hit before my back truck when I was landing. It's not a good feeling. Dude, I'm actually super glad the guys over there were super chill about us skating here and staying here. I've never done front tail on a hubba, so this will be my very first time trying it. Let me actually try it on the bump to ledge, actually. Try it on here a couple times and then I'll take it to the hubba. always easier to come out fakey on these because you just complete the front side 180. Let 
Let me run it back again. Got the mega steez. <laughs> My guy went all the way down on that one. Got on the too? Yes, sir. Oh. Do you see that front 50 50? He was like, <laughs> steezed out. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm gonna actually try to come out regular. To regular feels way better because when you're coming out to regular you just have way more control or at least that's what it feels like uh. that one felt proper a lot more proper than the first two yeah you ever try 180 out you got that. You got that. I might be a little lame for not going for it on the hubba part, but I'm just now getting used to this trick on the bump to ledge. So maybe in the next video that I'm here, I can try that. He got it. He got the front 180. First try. It was a little, it was a little sketchy, a little sloppy, but he got. He was hanging. He was hanging on to it. Um. All right, let's. Get some water and then let's hit the rail. Since it's so low, I feel like I have this trick. I really just want to do a half cab into a board slide. This would actually be my very first time trying it on the hand rail. It's low enough to the point to where I feel like I can try almost anything on it. The only thing is it's actually long. So whatever you do lock into, you have to hold it. Yeah, I'm just going to warm up with a couple of board slides, board slides to fakie and then get to the half cab board slides. Right as I'm about to try the new trick. They were serious about it. They were not playing around. Maybe I could like pop a couple real quick. I don't know about this one. Plus we need to give them their space anyway. I really wanted to try it. When I rolled up to it, it did not feel the same way how I wanted it to feel. Those were the only things I really wanted to try, to be honest. Since we got kicked out over there, we're just gonna come back to this spot. And this time we are gonna do a couple lines because these are relatively new tricks. And so I kind of just want to mix them up and try to get them back to back. So first I'm going to come up this way, get a crook on the bump to leg, turn around, come back this way and do a crook on the downward part. Yeah, let's get into it. Run it back one more time and then I'll try a different line. I had a feeling I was gonna slip out on that one. As I said, I really do like back crooks, so that kind of came naturally to me. Yeah, let's try a different combo. This time I'll come up and do no slide, which is a little easier, but then I'll come down and do front 5-0, which is a lot harder. But yeah, that's the next line and let's get into that. <laughs> Slipped out. So hard. My face almost hit my knee. Ah. It's just not working right now. And I know exactly why. It's because of how I'm locking in, basically. Let's actually try back 50 50, back 180 out on the bump to ledge, and then on the way down, try just a regular no slide. I feel like that would be cool. actually felt pretty good. Now I guess I want to try just front side grinds instead of back side grinds for the first half of the line. I'll go up and do front smith and then come down and do front 5-0. Sir. 
I really did want to get that first try because I don't know if I had another one in me. Let's try it. front tail up, front smith down. Yes. We got a couple good tricks. Also, if you guys want to check out my filmers, media and outlets, I'll put them up. Huge shout out to my uncle, Justin. You saved me anything? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go. Hey, Dude, I know, I know you said 11, but I'm trying to, I was trying to finish up my YouTube video. No, you good? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's, uh, it's Sunday, so I'm going to stay out a little later. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dude, awesome, let's go. You gonna be at the end of my YouTube video, by the way. Support my guy, he been out here really consistently just selling his merch, selling his food, and it be smelling really good out here. So definitely, definitely come out here. He right next to Rashfield too, so and he always has a tent with him, so definitely check him out. One of my homies Ollie did a couple days ago, but all right, let me roll up to it once and then commit first try to it. Kind of slipped out. Kind of added to the steeds though. It's my first time hitting it. My first ever nine stair. I've only hit eight stairs before and I've kick flipped an eight stair. So maybe one day I'll kick flip this, but only Ollie's for today. And that's a wrap.